like, all right, I'm gonna let you go. I'm not gonna tell you anything. So you just, you just freaking yeah. keep working. He's in Lebanon right now doing a Sherry's remodel. Oh, fun. Good afternoon, I'm Jeff. I'm a Sewer Tech Northwest. Today we're at property address 16861 Southeast Royer here in Damascus, located in the downstairs bathroom. Hold the toilet, we're going through the three inch ABS flange here. Here we go. But a three inch. It's actually four inch pipe, it does have a three inch flange. Okay, we just broke, we just went through a very large amount of debris build up there. We're going to run some water down the uh, flange here to hopefully clear some of it out of the way. See what All right, the blockage is out of the way. We're going to let the line clear out here for a minute.
Okay, so we're on a Y here at five feet. Uh, it does appear that this Y is configured backwards. This opening is far too big, uh, so it's a lot. It looks like it's allowing water debris to divert uh, the wrong direction. And then there's another Y here, at just about nine feet out. We have the same situation going on here. This Y also looks like it is configured backwards. And each one of these Ys is where we're seeing some leftover debris, so... And you can see here this Y looks like it's configured properly. You have a ledge down into here, and this opening is much smaller. It will direct the flow with the flow of the line here. The other ones are configured in a way that it allows it to divert uh, back up into the, the uh, in reverse direction. And here, uh, 46 feet out, this is the uh, terminus where the line hits the tank. Okay, so both Y connections here are, are basically, this one right here is about smack dab right in the middle underneath the uh, tub down here. And then the other Y at about 9 feet is just, uh, we're doing a flush here, so we're going to watch for the water to come through. Okay, and this is the problem. You're getting water diverting back towards the camera here. Any debris and things like that are going to do the same thing. It's going to shoot right back down this pipe. We're doing another one. Watch this. You're getting water diverting. Are you recording? You're getting some water here as well. This is the trickle off, but water is draining back down that other, this other Y connection too. You shouldn't have water going the other direction. It should just be going with the flow of the line. Okay, so that, that first Y there, we saw the flush coming through. That's an upstairs toilet. And then we're going to dump some water down the unfinished bathroom drain upstairs. Because I do believe that's what this Y here is coming from.
Okay, we just put the water down the line. And right there you can see again, the water is diverting right down this pipe here. The water is just splitting both directions. It doesn't matter if you've got the, whatever fixture you're using right now is basically diverting two different directions, but it's coming back towards the camera here. And that's what's going on. You're just getting debris and everything, shooting down the wrong pipes, blocking everything up. And right here, this is where the tub down here is draining in that hole that, or that opening there on the side of the pipe. We are getting some water diverting back towards us coming this direction too. As you can see, this there's some water sitting here that wasn't here. We'll turn that turn that off real quick. We'll turn this the tub off. We'll probably see this water right here drain out after a second. And there are some more rushing back at the camera. So I would reckon, and there it goes, now it's starting to drain out, now that the water flow is turned off. So uh, pretty much every fixture here that's coming down we've seen so far is, is sending water the wrong direction. And if you have that tub running full bore, uh, you're going to get even more water coming back this way. We had it running fairly lightly. So I would also recommend, um, obviously, correcting both the Ys that appear to be backwards, and then putting a directional connection here to force that water down with the flow of the line. Okay, we're going to see this, this tie-in right here at the top of the line. Um, this is about a foot and a half from where the, the toilet flange 90s, so we're just, a, we're just only about a foot and a half into the pipe here. 
We're going to dump some water down the upstairs. I think it's an unfinished toilet. We'll see if water comes uh, down through that there. All right, we have water coming down. So that toilet was actually going through this Y here. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and reel the camera out once again. Um, the two Ys at 5 feet, 9 feet need to be reconfigured so they're going with the flow. And then the uh, drain from the tub that's just stubbing into the side of the pipe, that I would also recommend putting a directional tie-in on so that it's forcing the water to go with the flow.